Woo! All right, so what's going on, everybody? Captain Stew Nothing blog, actually blogging tonight. So, yep, another episode of Captain Stew yells at clouds. You know, old man yells at clouds. Facebook. Lately, I have been sincerely struggling with Facebook. And I mean, specifically, um, echo chambers versus places for discussion. Personally, when I remember when Facebook first came out, it was just a fun, stupid thing you could share your pictures on, and I liked it. And then slowly started people, you know, people started using it for more, you know, they started putting out like opinions and, and thought pieces. And um, suddenly Facebook was this place for discussion and for, and for the exchange of ideas. And, you know, it was like really cool. Like this is neat and interesting. It's really neat. But I mean, what is that, five, six years ago? And now here we are and it's kind of devolved in a, in a big way. So hear me out and I'll try to explain what I mean uh, going through this. So for lack of a better term, I'm going to use the word safe space uh, or echo chamber a lot. Everybody's Facebook page is their own and they have the right to, to, that, uh, to that space and they can do whatever they want with it. Personally, I like Facebook for stupid, self-entitled stuff. I like stuff that reminds me how awesome I think I am. It makes me feel better about myself. I'll occasionally put up posts for movies that I like, and or if I do a movie or something like it, I'll, I'll put a link up to it, um, or like cool tricks or cool videos, you know, stuff that I think is interesting. I try to keep my Facebook free of opinion. And don't get me wrong, I've done my share of stupid, mean posts. You know, I've been passive. I've ripped on anti-vax people. I've, uh, rip, I've ripped on a lot of people on my Facebook and I've been ripped on by a lot of people on my Facebook. You know, it's just, you know, that awkward transitional space. However, I don't know when it happened, but like Facebook got really, really weird lately. Like it turned into this, I call it the playground mentality, you know, as in like, you got to get everybody to like your post or to share it uh, or to comment how awesome the post is, you know. And suddenly, I don't know why, but like our Facebook likes the brand new currency is a like all you need to justify your opinion. Even if your opinion happens to be ignorant or racist or jingoist or stupid, as long as enough people like it, it gets a pass. It, it's boggling my mind. Like the only thing I can picture is a little girl screaming at her teacher like, Nuh-uh, Mrs. Terwilliker. Susie is in fact smelly. Everyone in the class agrees with me. No. Susie's not smelly. You know, maybe that was a horrible metaphor, but just because you think so and you can get everyone to agree with you doesn't make it right, you know? And there's just like the clickbait. It's it's mind-boggling the clickbait. I bet this picture of a dog won't get one like. Oh, passive cry for attention, self-pity cry for attention. Most people know this rather than this. Let's keep Christ in school. This is real beauty. This is the picture of Kim Kardashian, which is not. Share if you play hockey. Share if you think cursive should stay in the schools. Share if you like guns. Share if you hate guns. Share if your man's not Brad Pitt, but he's the old man. Share if you hate gays. Share if you love the gays. Share if you have friends that hate gays. Look how this celebrity is nothing like you. Look how this celebrity is just like you secretly. Stupid Facebook posts, stupid tweets, ignorant posts and tweets, silly people. Share if you like hockey and you're happy the season started. Share if you're the only one in your friend list that's going to get this joke. Tag a friend who is this guy. Look at this stupid person sharing their opinion via a stupid video. Okay, that one might be a self-fulfilling prophecy, but it's never ending. And it just goes in just the silliest of circles. So... Preemptively, I'm sure everyone has now written a hateful comment on this video. Yeah, I wish, as if I would get that kind of attention. Ooh, passive. <laughs> See? It's, it's everywhere. It's all stu stupid, petty BS. But objectively, does it really hurt anyone? You know, is it wrong of me that, you know, people I don't know that could very well be having a really bad day want to share a picture of a puppy that got left outside a church in a town I've never heard of? Not really, you know, and if they get a whole bunch of people to notice them and be like, you know what? Yeah, I feel bad for that puppy. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, 
so what? It's not hurting anybody. It makes people feel better if they're having a bad day. You know what I mean? They've built a little echo chamber around themselves, and they've reinforced their opinion about this stupid issue by having people, you know, offer this invisible weird currency that, you know, this, this, this intangible like has been given to them that it makes them feel better. Sure, I'll give it to you. However, I think... Well, a lot of clickbait is stupid and, 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 and dumb. And, you know, I should just ignore stupid, dumb clickbait. It's like the bad sitcom for my generation. Everybody, every generation needs their stupid background noise. And I think likes are and shares are ours. They're on stupid posts. But then there is some clickbait, I think, that is kind of dangerous. And that's what gets me really upset makes me angry that's you know is why I'm struggling to keep a Facebook account now I mean when opinions start getting up you know the the internet tends to be extremely polarizing it's a polarizing place your issue is black or it is white it is right or it is wrong um, black or white, right or wrong, there's no middle ground anymore. And unfortunately for not all issues, but a lot of them, that middle ground is where the answer lies. And I find so many posts on Facebook are just so aggressive. Everything is aggressive. If you challenge an opinion posted on Facebook, you're, you're not attacked, but you are, you know, you're, they come after you. And I mean, yeah, it's, you write, you see something stupid on Facebook. Your knee-jerk reaction is to write, this is stupid. And then that person comes back with, fuck you for calling me stupid. You're stupid. I don't like you. And now you've got a Facebook comment section. It makes me sad that we can't, that fought, that great conversation that there used to be is gone. It doesn't seem to be there anymore. Um, and unfortunately, in the United States of America, they had several um, shootings. Um, they still have quite the little shooting problem, if I'm not mistaken. And in the wake of, I believe, the Sandy Hook massacre, I got involved in some um, gun rights discussions. I am an avid small arms, um, I'm not an avid user anymore, but I'm an enthusiast. I appreciate them as tools. I think, you know, firearms have an interesting history. However, I don't agree that it, everybody should have one. I think they're a controlled item and they should be extremely controlled. I live in a country that has extremely strict gun control laws, um, <clears throat> and uh, you know, and I appreciate how hard it is to to own uh, more dangerous uh, firearms in my country. And again, that's my personal opinion. I just lost a couple of listeners, I guarantee, you, because I was like, "Oh, this fucking liberal is just gonna hit me with his BS opinion on firearms." But that's my opinion. What got me though was like I started having this discussion. I would present my opinion. It would be countered by somebody um, that didn't agree with me, but aggressively. It wasn't, I disagree with your assessment of the use of force required for various situations. It was, you're a fucking idiot. What do you fucking know about living in America? It's my God-given right to have as many guns as I can get. Screw you. And it was like, there was no discussion. Like, I was, I did my best to be, to be, to be neutral, and I tried not to respond to the direct insults and the direct accusations of, uh, towards my sexuality, and I just tried to present my point. Hey, this is my point. And instead of getting a couple people would would counter it civilly, but for the most part, it was just mean accusations because I had a contrary depiction to the inflammatory, extremely broad, broad, you know, impact text overlaid over a generic image above the the discussion feed uh, thread. And then, uh, and you know, like I just, I kept going, and I just stuck my head all the way down the rabbit hole because I was an idiot. And before uh, the discussion was over, Buddy found out I didn't live in America, and it then became, "What do you care about? An American issue? You're not even an American. You'll never understand. This is I. I have wasted all of this time discussion discussing with you." I love meeting new people. I love going new places. I love hearing different opinions on things. I mean, the fact that there's a big Star Trekky theme to my blog should be an indication that I kind of agree with a lot of what the United Federation of Planets stands for in theory, you know? Don't just write off someone. Try to understand them before you write them off. Try to make peace. There's always another way. 
um, and discussion is a lot of that. And we have this tool that could be used for the best discussions in the history of discussion ever. And it's devolved into, this is my opinion. I offer an intelligent counter argument. Fuck you. You're wrong. This is just, it's, it's asinine. It's a waste of what a, such a great resource. And just the, just the sheer torrent of stupidity that comes out on Facebook. And I mean, everyone's got their opinion. And I'm not saying everyone's opinion is stupid. But I mean, if you have an opinion and you throw it out to the Facebook for the world to see, to be challenged, to be questioned, to be discussed. And when that discussion starts, your knee-jerk reaction is to go straight to insults then maybe you don't understand this issue as well as you think you do because you can't seem to defend it like a civil person. And that's my issue, I guess, at the end of the day is it's not, Facebook's not about having opinions or having discussions or, or all of this great stuff that it could be because it's just devolved into, you know, a means to just fire hose your useless opinion about silly, silly things onto the internet and to have them quashed and, 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 and insulted. And I mean... I used to think like this is a great I say silly opinion on things because I used to think like Facebook could could solve so much like look what happened in Egypt not too long ago I bet you Facebook had a big part in a bunch of people realizing they were disenfranchised and rising up against their government because you know they had this new way to communicate with people all over the world but even since then it's just gotten so like just the issues that are being discussed are so are so silly and then you get into like Oh my God! The even worse than that is 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 like when people start playing. My issue is more important than your issue. Let's say you're a homosexual and you've been a homosexual your whole life, and you've spent your whole life trying to further people's understandings of homosexuals and their rights. And you know you make a big post or whatever, and Buddy counters it like, "Why is this even news? Did you hear that uh, in this country there's a massacre happening in regards to this issue? Your issue is dumb." It's like. It's not dumb. That guy doesn't know anything about that country you just mentioned. He doesn't know anything about that fight. It's not relevant to him. And you've just tried to diminish his opinion and diminish his argument because it's not relevant to something that you personally care about. And so you just write it off as black, wrong, not to be discussed. That guy's an idiot. And it's just, it's so frustrating. And I keep thinking like, well, just ignore it. But I guess that's the issue is, yeah, like you can turn your Facebook off and you can ignore it. And the stupid goes away. Try it. It's actually quite fascinating like I've done this with a few people in, in my life we've given up Facebook for like a month or two and your blood pressure goes down you relax you stress out all these little stupid bits of dumb that you have to comment on or that you have to challenge um, when you remove them from your life it's strange the effect it has on you physically but then you always go back to Facebook that's the thing like everybody goes back everybody's on Facebook it's where discussion's happening. Like, what else are you going to look at while you poop? Nobody reads magazines anymore, you know? And everybody comes back to Facebook over and over again. And, the, and just the, this, this self-perpetuating cycle of stupidity continues forever and ever. You know, if you have... It, it, just, it, just, it just... It's just starting to boggle my mind how aggressive and how all-consuming Facebook is and how much of a monster you can be for suggesting that... Rather than just commenting on it on Facebook, you do something more. I don't understand this like entitled sense of butthurt people have when they post that. Like, I bet people won't even recognize this thing that I post. So you comment like, this is dumb and makes no sense. And it's a repost from three years ago and your information is out of date. And the reply is just like, oh, you're a monster. How could you say that to me? I can't believe you'd say that to me. Like, you're entitled to your opinion. And you're entitled to blast it on Facebook. But when somebody who maybe has done more research or maybe saw this post years before and before you didn't, you didn't know it was a repost, but calls you on it, then they're a jerk. Starting a discussion, they make you a jerk. And like, I guess it's, it's unfair to ask for more from the people on your wall. But I mean, is it, is it so much to ask that like, you know, opinions get researched and we, we come up with fresh stuff and we stop just like cycling through the same five or six like like serious issues that just, just maintaining this circle of bigotry and ignorance that just never seems to end. This this never ending like feeling of butthurt and safe space generation and, and echo chambers on Facebook. It's, it's just asinine. And I mean, 
And then you have the opposite side of that spectrum. Uh, I had somebody post a picture of a dead baby on their Facebook wall. And I mean, this wasn't like a pleasant little, like the, it was a baby with its fucking head cracked in and its brains were leaking out into the gutter in some fucking country that I'm not aware of. And same thing, like, like if you think that this picture is like more important than whatever. And it's like, that's somebody's baby, man. That's somebody's baby with their head cracked in. And you put it on, on Facebook so you could get some fucking shares and validate your own little insecure fucking ego because you don't have anything better going on so you went out and found some inflammatory stuff and you posted it on Facebook in the hopes that you get five or six people to pay some fucking attention to your insignificant existence. Go outside. Do something. Instead of just engaging in this rampant slack division or this rampant attention getting thing for, through Facebook. Stop building this echo chamber. Go outside. Talk to people face to face. Get a hobby. Learn something new. Do something in your life that's worth taking pictures of to put on Facebook. Stop finding these asinine posts that you're putting up for attention that you don't deserve. Boggles my mind. I guess it just made me really, it makes me really upset that like, you know, like people are just spending so much time on Facebook, posting so much of like the most asinine stuff. And I'm disappointed in myself more than anyone because despite turning it off three or four times, you go on a long road trip, you got nothing better to do, you go on Facebook. And then you're 45 minutes later, you're angry again. You know, you're laying in bed going, oh, I wish I hadn't read that post about that guy's opinion because now, now I'm mad. And I looked in the comment section and there was no discussion. It was just people calling each other faggots because they disagreed on this issue and couldn't have a logical, civil discussion. And it makes me mad. And it's not just Facebook. Like, Tumblr can get pretty bad and Twitter can get just, just, just so stupid as well. And I just don't understand, like... I hope this is some kind of terrible growing pain that we're all going through that like just because you can say anything on Facebook doesn't mean you should and yeah you'll have five or six ignorant bigoted friends that are like yeah I think that that bigoted opinion is is right as well I'm gonna share and post it and I mean I guess what I just said is inherently wrong because it kind of proves like I think racist and bigoted and sexist posts are are inappropriate and they make me angry just by saying that, I've now devalued a whole bunch of other people that think there's merit to those ignorant, racist, bigoted, sexist comments. You know, I think that's the most disappointing thing is like, despite how like, quote unquote, you know, air quotes, PC everyone's trying to be or a PC everybody thinks they are these days. We still have just this just wealth of ignorance and like people that are in a world surrounded by people that don't want to live in a backwards culture anymore have found like, hey... You know, I can go on Facebook and say something racist and ask people to like and share if they agree with my opinion. And look, a bunch did. My opinion is validated and it's right again. It's still not. It's still very wrong. It's still very stupid. You're perpetuating a cycle of ignorance we've been trying to break since the 30s. We have to do so much better. And I just, just the torrent of stupid, self-gratifying, frustrating, and I don't mean like, I put up pictures of the thing I built gratifying. I mean like, here's my opinion on something that someone else wrote, but I'm reposting. Praise me. Has to stop, guys. It's getting, like, and I know I probably just lost a couple friends because I know a lot, of, a lot of people in my life are heavy Facebook users. But, well, one, none of them watch my show, and two, <clears throat> it's just so disheartening and depressing and stressful, and it makes me angry, and I hope my little scream into the clouds that no one will hear. I feel a bit better, just still very, very devoid of humanity though. Like, I hope we all grow out of this and the fan, the, the, the internet and this constant unyielding communication we now have with each other starts yielding more good than negative as it appears to be yielding now. I'm not saying that Facebook all of Facebook is bad. It's okay to look at silly videos and s share silly posts with your friends for a laugh. You know, that's awesome. But, I mean, to present a super opinionated thing, like a political opinion or something, and then to get upset when people challenge it is not furthering any intellectual discussion. To put out 
some statement that's based in fear and in ignorance, like, um, you know, whether or not you, you, you agree or disagree with leukemia or, I don't know, vaccinations, you know, if you put something out that might not be the most well-researched in the interest of furthering your personal opinion on something, you might seriously mess up somebody's plan to get medical attention, you know, like, you're, you know, this, this, the breeding of ignorance we seem to be fostering can seriously have negative connotations if we allow this to just carry on to go unchecked. You know, the art of like face to face discussion will die out to be replaced with passive aggressive comments on Facebook posts. And I mean, I know it's not that old, but you're already starting to see evidence of younger people growing up in the Facebook generation are struggling with stress and, and, and physical con or not physical, like, um, emotional. Con uh, confrontation, you know, I, I think we're, we're, we might be losing old communication skills because this new one has made it so easy to just not communicate. And the fact is we're already seeing evidence of that. I mean, the next time you get a chance, watch the national news and just, it, it floors me how many official statements from political leaders we're getting via Twitter. You know, they're communicating to each other and to the masses through Twitter. That just boggles my mind you know you you say your opinion and you're able to control and disregard anything to the contrary whether your opinion you know like like the the realm for discussion is 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 gone it's not like it used to be but um you know sorry for the angry post and everything <laughs> i didn't mean to get so carried away and i hope my anger didn't ruin the objectiveness of the discussion for anybody but and there's a couple of like, there's still a lot of points here you can discuss, like comments you might find inappropriate on your friend's posts. Like, you know, they put up like pictures of them doing something that you don't agree with. Like, how do you discuss that? I mean, that's their choice to do that thing on a weekend. But this video was specifically about uh, clickbait and opinionated clickbait and comment sections on clickbait and just how polarizing and poisonous what should be a haven for free discussion ends up being just a, a terrible place people go to to insult each other and to and just set the set the status quo back as far as it can and it's just making me sad that like every time I go on Facebook I spend most of my time just flipping through my newsfeed unfriending and unfollowing people because there's just nothing to say on the greatest communication tool that's ever existed so yeah